Hi party people. So before we get into this video, cause it's a doozy, I wanted to share something really exciting with you. Uh, and before I say anything about it, I just want to make it clear that I'm not sponsored in any way, but I just love supporting my friends and sharing their wonderful endeavors. This is a brand that I've spoken about on my channel before, uh, and they just recently launched a new product, which is really exciting. It's Kalux Beauty, made famous by their wonderful lashes, which I'm sporting today in opulence. I bought two more opulence lashes. They just got back in stock, as well as this little eyelash tool, which can I just say... I'm dumb as hell for not getting this sooner. I have this stupid little like eyelash tool, let's compare the two, on my forehead. And I thought this was okay. This changes the game. This honestly really helps apply the lashes better, especially if you're dumb like me and don't apply lashes that often. Really wonderful purchase. So I picked up those as well as all three shades of their brand new lip gloss. I'm really excited. The satin gloss is a lip gloss infused with coconut oil and other oils to ensure moisturized lips with a satin feel. Our satin gloss provides a smooth application with multiple benefits, improving dry chapped lips and maximizing shine. Glaze is the satin gloss with a coconut scent um, and a clear finish. Bubble is the next shade with a bubblegum scent and a light pink finish. And Rosewood, which is the one that I have on today, is a satin gloss with a tropical punch scent and a dark rose finish. So each gloss retails for $7.99. Uh, unfortunately for you guys, they're all sold out. Not unfortunately for my friend, I'm so happy for her. Uh, the opulence lashes that I purchased, which are probably my favorite style, retail for $9.99 and the lash applicator retails for $4.99. So yeah, go support my girl. I'm honestly blown away every single time I receive one of her products. The packaging, the promptness of the delivery, like how clean she keeps everything. I absolutely adore her and I adore her makeup brand. So everything will be linked down below. Please go check it out. Look at me hopping on the bandwagon. Full transparency in case anyone was wondering, I did delete my Shane X Jeffrey review video that I've had up on my channel since the palette was released last year. Why? Well, if you've been living under a rock, uh, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, pretty much everyone else on the YouTube platform has either canceled themselves or been canceled in one way, shape, or form. But the recent information that has surfaced regarding both of them, um, I am no longer going to support Jeffree or Shane privately or publicly. My opinion on Jeffree Star has wavered for years. I never knew whether I liked him or not. One time I had him blocked on YouTube because I didn't want to see any of his videos suggested. And then I think like most of us, the Shane Dawson conspiracy series um, that featured Jeffree Star on his channel kind of changed my opinion on him and I felt bad for him. So for a while I was kind of supporting Jeffree Star and his cosmetic line. This is of course, until recently, like I said, a lot of information has surfaced regarding Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson's problematic past and even present. I also watched Liam McAvoy's video, which if you haven't watched his Jeffree Star expose video, it'll be linked down below. I definitely think it's worth the time. There was some beef with that recently. I think Jeffree Star tried to have the video taken down. Now for the quickest recap that I can possibly muster. Shane and Jeffrey are bad. It's alleged that they manipulated Tati into creating and posting the Bye Sisters video, um, Dramageddon circa sometime last year. Shane as well as Jeffrey have a very problematic and racist past. This is supported by um, a lot an overwhelming amount of recent evidence that has surfaced. Shane has also been publicly called out for a lot of jokes, very gross, poor taste jokes that he has made sexualizing children, which is disgusting. So Shane initially reacted by putting up this half-assed notepad apology that was obviously fueled by a lot of pent up anger and nobody cared. <laughs> So after Shane saw Queen Jenna Marbles post her apology for her questionable past, as well as all the praise she received afterwards, he thought he would follow suit. 
you know you can copy my homework but like change it up a little bit <laughs> and the funny thing is uh still nobody cared the smith family jada pickett smith and jaden smith will smith's son and wife both publicly commented on a video that had surfaced i'm not going to get specific um because if you know the situation you know what's going on if you don't quick search could fill you in on that one but a video surfaced of shane doing some really inappropriate things to a poster of willow smith and they publicly commented on it and refused to accept his apology rightfully so so after all this uh, Tati posted another hour-long video. To be honest with you, I really don't know how I feel about Tati's recent video. She cried a lot, uh, but she furthered the allegations that Shane and Jeffrey manipulated her into creating and posting the Bi Sister video. So, <laughs> Shane, in a fit of rage took to his Instagram story to just yell at the phone screen. Didn't really say a whole lot. Hi, editing me. So I completely forgot to mention that during Shane's brief Instagram live, whatever, he was watching a part of the video where Tati was talking about a part of her past where she had been sexually assaulted. She didn't really go into detail about it. She didn't really need to. Um, and Shane proceeded to roll his eyes and call her manipulative for talking about the fact that she was sexually assaulted and then went on to talk about well i was molested and blah 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 i want you to stop right there i don't care who you are i don't care what you've been through you do not do not invalidate someone who has been sexually assaulted and their story point blank period carry on <laughs> um but essentially was calling tati a liar for the things that she had mentioned in this hour-long video which to briefly sum it up she said that jeffrey and shane who weren't even really her friends never really spent a lot of time with them uh tried to manipulate her told her things about james that weren't true and essentially manipulated her into making that video which in case you didn't know pretty much ruined james charles career for like a hot minute <laughs> and not only that but jeffree star is radio silent he has said absolutely nothing about shane's video about tati's video which tati said in her video she expects jeffree star's retaliation to be intense i don't know i guess only time will tell for that one um, and just as a side note, this is as of today, July 2nd at 4 p.m. when I was kind of writing down my ideas to say during this video. Um, information is coming in every minute at this point, it seems like, so if I don't have all the facts, sorry. Now, I'm definitely not the first person to talk about this, and I certainly won't be the last. However, seeing as how I used to be a fan of Shane Dawson, I kind of wanted to come on here and give y'all my opinion. A couple of you messaged me and were like, yes, queen, make this video. So here I am. Before I say anything further, um, I want to just apologize for ever supporting a gross human being like that. When I first started watching Shane Dawson, I think I was 13. Not that that ever excuses anything, but I'm, I'm gonna be 22 in like a month. And I've obviously lived a lot more life since then. And I've grown a lot and that's just nasty that kind of behavior is disgusting um blackface is gross it's not okay talking about children in a sexual manner even grosser really not appropriate why would you ever do something like that why would i ever watch something like that i realize now that his content is extremely damaging and it's insensitive it's not okay it was never okay and unlike Shane, I'm not going to make excuses for why I ever supported him. I guess the question is, do I believe Tati? Uh, somewhat. Do I think Shane is this crazy, manipulative monster? My initial answer was no, but um, as more and more information starts to come in, it's starting to become uh, a little plausible. But initially, my answer was no. But 
I know that Jeffree Star definitely is. Personally, I don't believe in cancel culture, but if anyone needs to be purged from the internet, it's him. Now, this is all my opinion. It's all speculation. Um, but I personally think that Jeffree Star was jealous of James Charles and his rise in fame. I think that he possibly, because we still don't know if it's true or not, um, made up stories or fabricated stories of James being some crazy predator and a danger to society. Now listen, if Jeffree Star can refute any of these claims, which I don't think he can, uh, I'll stand corrected. And as a side note, this whole voice memo thing, this, this that whole thing is gross too. If Jeffree Star really does have a voice memo from a potential assault victim and he's blowing this up like he is, he's a gross human being whether it's true or whether it's not true because if it is true and he's going around telling all these people that he has this proof he's making it extremely hard for this person to come forward if they so choose i also think he is probably making that person if they exist feel like they have to come forward which they don't if they exist they don't have to come forward at all to be honest i kind of like james charles I never really had a problem with him and just like many of you I'm sure fell into that huge trap when Dramageddon happened and thought he was the worst person in the world because of all this speculated information. If information does come out that verifies the fact that he is a predator, sorry James. Until then, he's kind of okay in my book. Do I know him? No. Is his palette nice? Yeah. So anyway, he either made up or exaggerated these crazy stories about James Charles being a predator. I said this a couple videos ago and I'll say it again. I still haven't got the right eyebrow color. So if my eyebrows look a little red. Guess who's back? I'll make this short and sweet. So after a grueling night of editing, um, due to unforeseen events, I'm gonna have to split this video into two parts because YouTube won't let me upload the full video. So I'd really appreciate if you go over and check out part two. I'll have it linked down below. Sorry. Enjoy. <laughs>